From the Keith Vincicaela Studios in Patterson, New Jersey, Green Arrow Media proudly presents Is This Real? Tonight, the curse of Tippecanoe. What is it? We'll discuss. Now your host, JC3. Welcome, 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 everybody, to another fantastic episode of Is This Real? Is This Real? Tonight's episode, as Dad said, we are talking about the curse of Tippecanoe and Tyler, too. And uh, on this episode, as usual, we have Big Joe. Big Joe, say hello to everybody. Hey, everybody. Welcome to our program. Mr. West is in the building. Mr. West, say hello. Fresh off the plane, konnichiwa, bitches. I like that. You came prepared this week. You were on a plane? No. No, okay. Uh, the Pope himself. I'm a the Pope. What's up, bitches? And I'm JC3, and as Dad said, we're talking about the Curse of Tippecanoe. Ooh. What the fuck is it? Who has come? I know, I I've, I did a little, I, I saw a 10-minute video of this, so I, I'm a little more prepared than usual this week. Oh, wonderful. Well, I mean. It sounds like, uh, with, with, all, with all the respect and disrespect in the world at the same time, it sounds like a native curse. It is. Mm-hmm. Okay. It is a native curse. I mean, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna guess here. I'm gonna, I, I'm gonna, I'm gonna. Just from the little bit of research I've done on this, this subject here, I'm gonna say it's William Henry Harrison's first, uh, his pre-president. He was in the war, right? Yes. Okay. Which war? World War One, I, I would imagine. No, 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 no. No, no World War One is 1909, 1911, around there. This is 40. This is like 60 years before that. Oh, so he was in the uh, Civil War. No, 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 nope, no. Nope, before that. The War of 1812? Re- no, before that. <laughs> the Revolutionary War? <laughs> no, after that. It was very close after that. So okay, it's so not wh- really a war then. It was just a battle. Hold on a second. William Henry Harrison was the president in 1840. Um, 30 years, almost 30 years prior to that, 1811, 1812... Uh, well, 1811 is when the Battle of Tippecanoe happened. Okay. So, William Henry Harrison was involved then. So, okay. you're talking well before um, the, what do you call it, the Civil War. And, okay. But but it was definitely after the war, you know, the independent, uh, war for independence. Right, but so, so, it wasn't really a war, it was just a battle. Uh so it wasn't. So it wasn't in the Let's, war of 1812 when the federal bank took over. No. No. Okay. It was in the the Battle of 1811. Think of it like this. Okay. Is it a is it a war, from our perspective, or is it a war from the people who are fighting, because it was a war to them. And by when I mean them, people, I mean talking about the indigenous and the natives, who lived in. Ah, oh, the genocidal war. Yes. In this area. <laughs> what? The- We're gonna get there. We're going to get there. This isn't going to be a Christopher Columbus episode. Please tell me no. No. Okay. No, it's not going to be a Christopher Columbus But you're not going to like it either. So, I mean, when he won, died. in 1840, when William Henry Harrison won the presidency, his slogan was, Tippecanoe and Tyler too." Huh? Right? And was that was a That's reference. Not, there was a Tyler. Yeah. Yeah. That was a reference to his victory at the Battle of Tippecanoe in 1811. By the way, our grandmother, our dad's father, our dad's mother, Used to say what? that. Shut up. Used to say that all the time. <laughs> what? Canoe, I don't Tyler think too. she was there. I mean, she was that old, but I don't think she was there for that battle. I don't think battle. she knew what it meant either. I think she just. I wouldn't nice. put that. I wouldn't say that. Yeah, I wouldn't weird. say that either. Um. So the so the battle of Tippecanoe came down to two sides, right? The, uh, the army, which was at the time uh, led by William Henry Harrison, or that part of the army, and the Shawnee tribe. Who was led by a native named Te- uh, Tecumseh. Tecumseh. Right. Wasn't that the whale of Sea World? N- no. Okay. You fucking you asshole. ass wipe. <laughs> Sorry. I'm just trying to make conversation. That's all. So Harrison and Tecumseh didn't like each other. Because prior to... You're loud as fuck. Sorry. Prior to um, the Treaty of Fort Wayne, that was an 1809 treaty. And that required Indian tribes to sell 3 million acres of land to the United States government. Okay. So it was a treaty that said you have to do this thing. Now, this was from, now this is in, I think that this is in Ohio. Mm. 
Can fuck someone, Ohio. Your can favorite someone, place, huh? Right, fuck Ohio. Can someone do a little research on that? That's the one thing I didn't do. Where what? where fucking is uh, Tippecanoe? Where is Tippecanoe? That's the only uh, thing I'm not sure Indiana. of. Indiana. Well, okay. Well, so, this one says Tippecanoe County, Indiana. Okay. Well, Fort Wayne gave it away. I mean, oh, that's true. Yeah. So it's Indiana, right? So you have Tecumseh who decided to try to unite the people. And I'm talking about all the people, uh, the native people who are that far west. Because prior to the American expansion, Americans were not allowed to go west. When we were still under British law, they made a very strict pact with the French. Uh, well, you remember, you know the the French Amer- the American Indian War. Um, sorry, the um, there was a war prior to the Revolutionary War. The Spanish, I think, no, it's not Spanish. I'm fucking all this up. It was a proxy war. Okay. The French, the the uh, the French used. Um, Native Americans to fight. I'm sorry. The English used Native Americans to fight the French. Right. The French Canadian War. Thank you. Like, yeah. And there was also Native Americans. So they were basically the Native Americans were used to fight the English battle. Are, are you? Are, but are you talking? Are you talking about the French and Indian? The War? French and Indian War. Thank you. Which was 1754. Right. The the Brit- the British law said that no Americans can expand west. The French were up in Canada. And the reason they couldn't expand west is because when people were away from the coast, they were on their own. It's one thing to control New York, Baltimore, um, you know, Charlottesville. Not, not Charlotte. Char- what's the one Jamestown? in Jamestown? No. What's the one? Sh- Charlotte, North Carolina. That's Charlotte, right? You can control that under British law. Because Charlestown? Maybe that's it. Doesn't okay. matter. You can control the east, the border, the east coast cities because they're on the water on the atlantic yes but when you get past like pennsylvania and ohio what the fuck can the british possibly do not no. much so they said you cannot expand past certain lands and by using the native americans to fight the french they said we will not encroach on your lands past like ohio okay well after we won a revolution that got thrown out the window manifest destiny and we started moving west Big so, words. in 1809, Treaty of Fort Wayne, it required Indian tribes to sell 3 million acres of land to the United States government. Tecumseh was like, no, fuck that, because this is our land. We live here. So, he was going around trying to unite everybody, every native indigenous person he wanted on the same side and say, this is our land. Mm-hmm. We agreed to keep our land and to fight England's war. England lost, but we shouldn't have to fucking give up our land. True. So, that's what he was doing. So, he was trying to make a Native American confederacy. So, in 1811, July, yeah, he was trying to find... Words. <laughs> huh? It's almost a very cho- poor choice of words. In 1811, Tecumseh traveled south to try to find more people. Okay. And um, that's where he met with Harrison... And he said that he reported to the company. He said he wished that everything to remain in its present situation until he returns. Um, our settlements are not to progress any further. And he to come to wanted peace. He goes, just stay where the fuck you are. I'm going to go on a trip. We're going to come back. We're going to keep talking about because you guys are moving this way. Stay. Let me come back. Do my trip. We'll have a discussion when I get back. Right. right? Um, Harrison spies. Notice that Tecumseh's troops were preparing for war. So Harrison said, well, Tecumseh's not around. Let's go in there. Attack them bitches. Attack. He said that his absence affords the most favorable opportunity for breaking up his confederacy. So if someone's encroaching on your house and you tell them to stay over there and you go on a trip, what are you doing? Uh, I'm not sure at this point, but... uh... You would set up like... Guys, stay here with your guns. Get ready, because yeah, in case you're they defend attack yourself, right? Well, Harrison saw them doing that and went, "Well, Tecumseh's not here. Let's fucking take him down." That's July. Okay. Mm-hmm. Come August. By the way, he was the governor, um, Henry Harrison, at this time. Of what state? Uh, I think it was just like the territory. It wasn't oh, so much okay. a state. Okay. 
ับนะ um, he had discussed recent treaties land purchases and he was uh, in 18 August that he had met with Henry Harrison and they were talking about um, violence amongst the tribes and 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 Indian territories and after their meeting Tecumseh spoke for a large group of natives along the Great Lakes and told Harrison that this piece of land we don't want you to take it like it's not it's not for sale okay um, and he said to back the fuck up he goes your present boundary line to uh, there's gonna be problems if you keep if you stay where you are so back the fuck up right Um, should the whites continue their expansion into the region, I assure you it will be a product. It will be productive of bad consequences. That's the way I put it. Yeah. So stay the fuck where you are, mm-hmm. or we're gonna go. We're gonna throw down. And I guess they didn't listen. Well, I mean, the meeting ended destiny. without any resolution because Harrison was like, "No, we're we're gonna keep doing what we want." He's like, "Don't do it." And then they just left. That was the whole meeting. Don't do this. I'm gonna do it. So <clears throat> after that, he Not wrote to like my answer. He wrote to um, William Henry Harrison. Wrote to the Secretary of War, and he said, "The implicit obedience and respect which the followers of Tecumseh pay to him is really astonishing." He called Tecumseh an uncommon genius. Now, mind you, this was think of it like this: you have different tribes, native tribes who. Respected each other. Some went to war with each other, but they spoke different languages. They spoke different languages. They had different beliefs, and this was a man who was trying to unite them all because of a foreign invader attacking their land. That's that's really remarkable when you think about it. Sure. You have a group of people who can't agree on shit, and then you're like, no, 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 we all have to band together because that's the enemy. Mm-hmm. So a white man. So. <laughs> Harrison marched to a place called Prophet's Town, with a show of force that he hoped would scare the natives into being peaceful. And on October 10th, a company of scouts were ambushed by the natives because they got too fucking close to Prophet Town. Their supplies had been stolen, and the army had laid low until more supplies got there. And then October 29th, Harrison said, "Fuck this." Let's go to Prophet's Town. Prophet's Town was Tecumseh's one of Tecumseh's bases. Okay. Tecumseh was not there. He had left his brother in charge, and his brother had a really weird, fucked up name. And I'm gonna butcher it, but let's try it. Uh, his name was Tenskawata. Tenskawata, Wata Wa. And he got so on November 6th, he was met by a white flag. William Henry Harrison was met by a white flag of uh, one of the people from Prophet's Town. Right. And the the guy said, "Listen, Tecumseh's not here. Let Tecumseh come back. Talk to Harrison. Leave Prophet's Town alone. We're coming for peace. Don't attack us." Um. Okay. So Is that where the curse started, though. I mean, is that no, where? No, nope. no, 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 no. no. Say, like, where did, what this um, we're getting there. We're getting there. We're getting there. We're getting there. To do with the cur- we're getting there. We're going to sit here. We're gonna get. Uh, we're gonna get the end of Anthony's history lesson, <laughs> and then we're going to uh, take a break, and then we're going to get where the curse actually starts. Right. Yes. Please. So. Gosh, this focusing. The brother. The brother said, um, "Everyone, calm the fuck down." But when he went back, when the follower, the 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 envoy came back to Prophet's Town, and said like, "Hey, they're right over the hill over there," and they looked fucking armed and pissed off. The brother didn't exactly rile everyone up to get him to go to war, but he was singing war cries, and he was shouting incantations that would protect him from bullets and an attack. The next day was the battle. It's like he wasn't he wasn't amping them up, but you know he was just you know doing some things. He was like, he was "Defense instigated. shields are up." Everyone relax. And Calm the fuck down. Now let's sing our war songs. Exactly. <laughs> so the next day, the battle attacked, November 11 t h 1811. And it lasted the day. Um, the Indians had the upper hand, and then they lost it because bullets. Uh, they tried attacking from the side. They attacked from the other side. 
they were overcome by William Henry Harrison's forces, who then marched into Prophetstown and burned it to the fucking ground. Okay. Uh, just um, like the white man. <laughs> a lot of the natives were pissed off at the brother because none of his incantations worked. Fucking shocker there. And they're pissed off at his leadership. Mind you, Tecumseh was not around. Maybe because, you know, he was out trying to talk to everyone else. Had he been there, maybe shit would have went different. But they burned Prophet's town to the ground. And there was mass casualties. Okay. Women, children, sick, elderly, they were put to the sword. Uh, you could debate all you want, but in my opinion, hurting people who are not fighters is a war crime. Yeah, I, I'll, I'll say that. Yeah, I don't have so, a, a problem with that. So, um, agree. This was a big fucking thing for tip uh, for uh, for Tecumseh, and his brother was the one who placed a curse on all future presidents elected in years ending in zero. And we will get back with that curse when we come back from break. We'll be right back. <laughs> If you liked this video today please click the like and subscribe button and make sure to hit the notification icon to keep up with all our videos. Welcome back to the Curse of Tippecanoe. Finally. Um, as we continue our Curse of Season, and obviously we're having... Now, let me set up the scenario for everybody. Native Americans versus the white people, the white men. Now... They attacked, shit happens, and now the brother, what was his name? Uh, I, I want to make you say it again, because, you know, for a man that, that, that picks on my speech all the time, I want to hear you fuck up the name again. You know, not for nothing, though, you, you fuck up on words like the. This is a fucking indigenous name that I have, n I can't even pronounce half the words in there. Okay, hold on. Ten. Ten. Squatawa. Ten. Ten. Squatawa. Ten. Yeah, Ten. Squatawa. Okay, so Tenskwatawa. I'm just gonna call him Tenny from the rest of the episode. He uh he put a curse on uh, William Henry Harrison, right? Mm -hmm. He put a curse on presidents, future presidents elected in the years ending in a zero, which was very specific. Yeah, like extremely <laughs> specific. <laughs> it's not like any no. future presidents has come out. It's just like, you know what, 19, 1860s coming up, that motherfucking gonna die. <laughs> like, like uh, why stop there? Because why because say, because it's just like the because because. If it's so specific, it works because it has such powerful restrictions on it. I have so many. Questions I've seen this about in an anime before. Like y'all, y'all know what I'm talking about. I have so many questions. It about has the this. properties of both gum and rubber. What? <laughs> <laughs> well, that's like the George Carlin thing with the Ten Commandments, Eleven Commandments. Get the fuck out of here. Ten it's sounds just, official. It's like okay, uh, only the only elected in years ending in zero. But did he understand how American politics worked? Like, did he? Oh, well, probably not. Well, no, there was never. Of course not. Yeah, there was never also uh, like what we have. We have terms now and shit like that. There was terms. There was. There wasn't the the. What I'm saying is, is that they there wasn't like a limited amount of terms. Yes, there was. No, there wasn't. Yeah, it was. Yes, there was. No, there everybody wasn't. Okay, time out. One second. I'm getting everybody through my ears except for you. Oh, that's right. You weren't on. Let's restart that. It was only two minutes long. Well, I forgot I turned him off because he was talking on the phone. Whoa. Five, four, three. Two. I did something good. I guess. I guess so. <laughs> Welcome back to the Curse of Tippy Canoe. And let me set this up for everybody. Ready? Natives. White people. Natives said, fuck you. You're not taking our land. The white man said, we are taking your land. The white man massacred the natives. And then the brother... years later, we gave him a casino. Yeah, the, <laughs> the brother 
of uh, uh, what's what's the other one? Uh, Takunsa. Ten Skowatawa. Ten Him. God, this is so entertaining. Him. He turned around and put a curse on every president in the year ending in a zero. Elected in a year. Ending. Elected in a year ending in a zero. Which means he had a very firm grasp on American politics. And he was uh, very specific on who he wanted to curse. Now, that started with give William man some, Give the man some credit because he, he, he definitely had some effect. Well, I, let's, let's go down the line here. Let's put it like this. So Seven people. Seven people died. Just, okay, so the presidents elected on such years from 1840 to 1960 died in office. Yes. Uh, it started with uh, William Henry Harrison, who was elected uh, in 1840. First, the first one. His, his nemesis. Yes. yes. Uh, Abraham Lincoln in 1860, so that's 20 years later. Uh, James A. Garfield in 1880, again 20 years later. And then, uh, we forgot it's every 20 years, I think. That yeah, it is every 20 in, years. In, in the curse. Uh, William McKinley in 1900. Well, hold on. That's just because that's how math works. No president is elected on years ending in a zero other than something uh, yeah. 20, 40, 60, 80, or, or 100. Yes. Um, Warren G. Harding in 1920, Franklin D. Roosevelt in 1940, and John F. Kennedy starting in, uh, in, in 1960. Mm-hmm. Now, uh, the thing with those are, is if, if I'm correct in the video that I was watching, well, I'm, I am correct because of how, uh, you know, how history is, um, they didn't die in those specific years. They only no, di- they didn't. They yeah. were just elected. It's not. Yeah, years. they were just elected in those years. A lot of people sit there and go, "Well, you know, John F. Kennedy died in '63, so that doesn't count." Or um, uh, Franklin D. Roosevelt, what he died in 40, 44? 45. 45. That the, doesn't count. He died on my birthday. Yeah. So it's only those elected. It's not like, oh, you're going to die in 1860. You know, uh, Lincoln died in what '63? Nineteen. Uh, yeah, eighteen sixty-three. Uh, sixty-three. Yeah. So, it's not they're dying in the year ending in zero. It's the person elected in the year ending in zero. Right. And that stopped. No, I'm sorry. Lincoln was assassinated in 65. 65. 1865. Okay. Uh, but that stopped with Ronald Reagan, who was elected in 1980, 20 mm-hmm. years after John F. Kennedy. Wasn't he an actor? He was. Yeah. Ronald Reagan was. was an actor. But Ronald Reagan was shot in office. John he survived. Hinkley. He did survive. Mm-hmm. So. I mean, he's got that dog in him. So, <laughs> Ronald Reagan, there was an attempt on his life. And there was also an attempt on the life of George W. Bush. And there was an attempt on uh, George W. Bush, who someone threw a grenade on the stage with him and never blew up. <laughs> Why is that funny to you? <laughs> Why are you laughing? I get it, because it, it, the more you listen to George Bushisms or you watch the guy, he was a blatant idiot. Oh, he was a moron. I'm sorry. He he <clears throat> just gave a new the new meaning to stupidity. He was just and one let's just put it like this: dumb <laughs> son of a bitch. As far as these uh, presidents, uh, they all uh, most of them died by assassination. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Harrison was a cold. Uh, no, Lincoln- yeah. And it was in his first term. Right. Lincoln was... Uh, well, Lincoln was... He Assassination. Got, he got popped. In his first term. Uh, Garfield got popped. <laughs> uh, yes. Assassinated in his first term. McKinley got popped. Assassinated in his second term. Harding... Was a heart attack uh, in his first term. I thought it was a stroke. Nope. Heart attack. Uh, Roosevelt... Was he a felt, cerebral hemorrhage. Well, I mean, he was Excuse fucked me? up to begin with. He had polio. Yeah, but he didn't die of the polio. He died because of, of a cerebral hemorrhage. And our so most open-minded uh, president, that was JFK, he got killed. In his third term <laughs> for Franklin D. Roosevelt. You You're an did asshole. Not say that. You did, did you? Yeah, he what? did. You John F. Kennedy did get shot. We have gone over John F. Kennedy's uh, assassination. You in know what I find episode. funny, though, too, here? I'm, I'm mm. looking. I, I'm not to cut you off, Joey, but. Yeah, you always cut me off. That's time. true. The terms of election. Mm. Uh, William Henry Harrison, um, he was elected in 1840. Mm-hmm. It was his first term. Yeah. 1860 was the first term for Lincoln. I just said that. Uh, Garfield, the first term. I, and here's I where it gets interesting. McKinley. What? No, no, you go wrong. Uh, McKinley was elected in 1900, but it was his, elected to his second term. Yes. Yeah, had he lost the presidency, he might be alive. Exactly. Well, not no, I mean, he's, he'd be dead either way. It's 100 and now years we, later. we get down to 1940, which would have been the third term for uh, Franklin D. Roosevelt. Yes. So, right then and there, I call bullshit on the curse. Absolutely. Well, no, but they were. It, you still were elected. You still in a were year. elected in that year, though. 
the presence it, 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 the presidency of that year no matter if it's your first or whatever term it could be your 10th term if you were elected in that year ending with a zero right the curse is on you i guess you know, it just so, seems you know well, yeah, why why it, would it have stopped it, it, with ronald reagan because he because the he ronald was reagan a bad shot yeah ronald reagan got shot <laughs> and survived yeah so but he d- he did not die in office but i will say this though there was an assassination attempt and it failed. Because Ronald Bush, Reagan got that assassination attempt and it failed. Yeah, he tried to get hit by. Have a we shield. had any attempt uh, assassination attempts on on Joe Biden so far? No, unfortunately. No, no. Stop no, it! There was no assassination. Say that. There was no assassination attempts on on. Uh, I mean, uh, granted, it doesn't matter, but there hasn't been. So my, they've gotten really, really good at protecting the presidents. No, I mean, it's, over it's the last almost like a job years. at this point. You know, you just gotta protect them. Yeah, at, over the last twenty. Like I don't think like. I, the last person I think I had. He hasn't I mean, done again, anything to piss off the upper hand. Just think about this though. What, do you guys remember anything hearing about uh, like assassination attempt on on Ob- uh, Obama? All the time. No, I've heard of threats, never attempts. Okay, yeah, sorry, threats. Yes, not I mean, a, not fucking actually. Trump was yeah, getting well, that's the threats case, all the time. Every president gets every threats. threats. Yeah. Yeah. Every, yeah, oh, yeah. you know, I mean, God. there was no. I didn't hear of any attempts on on on. No well, matter, even though how, how much people hated him, I'm Trump. Sure, I'm pretty sure there were attempts, but we just never heard about them. Probably if there was a serious attempt, true. I can see that. If probably, there was a serious like, attempt, it would have made the news. Yeah. Yeah. No, I don't think there was any attempts on Trump. There's definitely. I mean, to this day, he still gets death threats. I'm pretty sure, no matter where those people go, that there's always someone that tries to attempt something. Right. That just gets like thwarted right then and there, and it just it doesn't. It's so small. That it doesn't even hit the news. Well, yeah, I mean, just thinking like this, like, like we all saw the video of, of George Bush getting two shoes thrown at him. I mean, can you count that as a death threat? No, I mean, but here's the weird thing: like, you have assassination attempt, assassination attempt, both foiled. Does that mean the curse is broken? Right. Okay. So Reagan survived it. Bush survived it, but there was still an attempt on their lives while they were in office. Right. So maybe the curse isn't broken yet until they get a president who survives his term and who was elected in the year of the zero, survives the term with no assassination attempts and does not die from natural causes. Maybe at that point the curse will be officially broken. I mean, that said, I mean, Biden only has two years left. And we don't, as far as we know, we don't know that there's been any attempts on his life. You know, first of all, you as long as he's not on any bikes or stairs, he you, should be you okay. You have to assume that the guy's actually living and not an animatron. And Joe he's not Biden, a fucking he's animatron. Looking, he's a fucking moron. Moron is fine. And he's not a robot. He makes George Bush look like a rogue scholar. Anyway, go ahead. Well, let's put it like this. Uh, I have this this little thing down here. It's called criticisms of the curse. It says, the failure of the curse after 1960 has been called by multiple sor- uh, sources a disproof of supernatural explanation of the, for the curse. An, anal- uh, an analysis cited in a 2000 article by fact checker Snopes, which I hate that fucking site, developed a more complex, uh, complex astrological explanation to account for Reagan's survival. According Astrological, they, they freaking pulled the zodiac. Yes, this yeah, is, it's, it's in the zodiac. stars. It's the zodiac. According oh, to blow Tim, me. Mer- Mercury was in retrograde. <laughs> <laughs> According to Timothy Redman of Skeptical Inquirer, the supposed curse demonstrates a number of logical fallacies, including confusion, uh, confusing correlations with ca- uh, causation, cherry picking, and moving the goalposts. In yeah. layman's terms. Out of many unlikely eerie patterns, at least one of those hip, uh, hypothe- uh, hip- ah, hypothetical uh, patterns is likely to come true. Snopes rates the curse on its fact-checking scale as a legend, uh, a rating given to overall general or unproven claims, and denies a supernatural explanation for the curse. Basically, when you're looking at the whole... Eh, when you're looking at it as a whole, <laughs> all the presidents, you notice a pattern... But is it truly a pattern, or is it just that's what happened? A pattern, you would have to say there's something causing that pattern for those things to be in that place. Right. Nothing is causing this. What are you talking about, man? You that have is- angry motherfuckers. You have assassinations. Well, let's just put you it like this. You have bad shots, and you have uh, natural causes. Uh, let's let's go down in each. Well, what I want to do. Okay. And then the last fitness. Go down to each president who died in, in, in this supposed curse uh-huh. and go over their cause of death. All right, did we uh, just do this? No, no, no. What I'm saying, listen. Oh, you want to go in depth? Yeah, in depth. So when William Henry Harrison, he uh, yeah. uh, died in 1841 by pneumonia. In 1841, there was no 
medicine to help pneumonia. Oh okay. my God! So uh, right, right there. So, so if you had, so if you had a fever, you were dead. Not so not, much. Not so much. But oh, like but I, I, I did a little. I know exactly. I have some yeah. information. So uh, Abraham Lincoln. Hold on, wait, 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 don't don't leave Harrison just yet. It wasn't just that he had a fever and pneumonia. He did his he very had syphilis too. No. <laughs> He delivered his inauguration address on a cold and windy oh, day yeah. and was stuck in a rainstorm, he, and, uh, which developed into a, and he got a cold from that, which then developed into pneumonia. I believe also William Henry Harrison's. Uh, My uh, man was not prepared. That's no, no. What it was. Think about this. William Henry Harrison's. Uh, right, no, they didn't have what his, uh, um, the day he was elected. What was that when he the inauguration day? Inauguration speech. Right. Is the longest inauguration speech that has ever taken place at two and a half hours long in those elements. And mind Sorry. you, that was March fourth. He was in, so that's when he did his inauguration. They didn't have it on January, you know, back in January. Yeah. Then it was March fourth. So this asshole, how old was he? He was he had to be in his seventies. Oh, I know. <laughs> you know what I mean. So this asshole stood out in the rain for two and a half hours, and he wonders why he got sick and fucking died. He, they said his. Um... <laughs> Yo, I'm sorry. That's that's. That's kind of funny in retrospect. Uh, it was 1773 it. to 1841, so it's almost fucked up. It is fucked up. He was almost. He was in his 60s, yeah. 70s. So this old fuck stood out in the rain for two and a half hours and, and wonder why he got sick. From reports of that day, and it they, was cold. They yeah, said they March. said that his inauguration speech was very thorough and very like to the point, and he was methodically talking. And then so he, he died. was sitting there talking slow, talking to the point. And it lasted two and a half hours, and he died a month later. Yeah, and don't forget also, though, he's out there talking, and it's 1840. There's no amplification. Yeah. There's yeah. No, so he's screaming on top of his lungs. <laughs> and sure, it's going to take they a They didn't talk. have the heaters on. Exactly. Yeah, exactly. So we'll move on to Abraham Lincoln, who was assassinated by John Wilkes Booth, yeah, supposedly. That's, see, you don't have to dive into that. We know what happened. They, they were in the middle of a fucking war. A bullet to the head will end your life Civil pretty quick. War, no, it was, but go go deeper into that. Like They could say, oh, the curse made this. It was the Civil War. Mm -hmm. It was a Southerner who killed a president who abolished slavery. He woke up three days after a binger and went, I freed who? Yeah. So that's that. right there off the thing. So uh, James Garfield, 1881. I don't. I, do you have any information on, on the assassination? He took office on March fourth, eighteen. See, interesting. Harrison's inauguration address was March fourth, eighteen forty-one. Forty years later to the day, James Garfield takes office on March fourth. Well, it has to be forty years. Eighteen. 20, there's a present in between. Hold on a second. My my point is, forty years later to the day, March fourth, eighteen eighty-one, uh, he takes office. James Garfield. On July second, eighteen eighty one, Charles uh, Gutier. Gut huh? Charles Gut Gutier. Yes, Gutier shot him and that led to his death on September nineteenth. So he was he got shot in July and he died three months later. Yeah, it's because it, the, the infection it was an infection that killed him. It wasn't the gunshot per se, he lasted for three months or whatever. Yeah. It was an infection. And Gutier was apparently un mentally unstable. Caused well, by his doctors, by the way. And he had been denied a diplomatic post by Garfield's administration. Mm -hmm. And he was hung for his crime in 1882. So he was, a, he was a bit off. And when he was denied a job, he decided to take it out on the president. And then they hung his ass. So <laughs> you have a pissed off employee. You, you guys want to hear something funny? What? Apparently the assassination of Abraham Lincoln. This is... A, this is Another or back to Lincoln now? No, no, it's not. Due, it's because of Lincoln. Okay, it's because of Lincoln. This is still James Garfield, but the assassination of Abraham Lincoln was deemed a fluke due to the Civil War, and Garfield, like most people, saw no reason the president should be guarded. His movements and plans were often printed in the newspaper. Gee. <laughs> Yo, oh man, I'm really fu Nah, you know what? I'm gonna keep my comments to myself. <laughs> I'm gonna keep my comments to myself. Oh my god. Yeah. So. So after Garfield. So they turned around and said, "Yeah, no, that that's that's a fucking fluke. Like, come on." After Garfield, we have uh, William McKinley. Yeah. Uh, if, if I'm if I'm he, correct, is McKinley one of those? Pre I if if I think it's McKinley, I hear a lot of bad things that McKinley done. I think you I think you're thinking about Woodrow Wilson. Oh, uh, Woodrow Wilson. Wilson's okay. regard is one of the worst presidents in history. There was a lot of scandal, 
Under Woodrow Wilson, there's a lot of shit. Damn, that he I was went to a middle school named after that motherfucker. There's a lot of shit. Well, he's still a president. You know what I mean? Is we look, we look at our, we look at the people in office with rose-colored glasses to a degree, but there was a lot of shady shit that that Woodrow Wilson was responsible for. Um, he was a progressive or something like that from the last time I. Remember. I would have to go in there and double check and brush up on. I haven't read about him in a while, but you might be right. He did parks. I know that. He created um, parks. Yes, he helped establish national parks. Yeah. So with William McKinley, he was uh, shot ooh, ooh, twice. I remember, I remember something else, too. What? He was, um, he did. What Are we did, talking what, about McKinley or uh, Woodrow Wilson? Wilson, Wilson, Wilson. Wilson. What, he, what he do? He's not part of this curse. Well, well it's a fun yeah, fact. Yeah. Fun fact, fun tidbit. Fun tidbit. He uh, created jobs so that like it would seem like the economy was doing good when it actually wasn't. All right. So... <laughs> Just to give the illusion of people, you know. Uh, McKinley, he was 25th president of the United States. Mm-hmm. Uh, what did he do? Was shot on the grounds of the Pan America Exposition, mm-hmm. American Exposition, at the Temple of Music in Buffalo, uh, Buffalo, New York, in September 6, 1901. Six months into his term, he was shaking hands with public with the public when anarchist Leon Zagols, uh, Zagol, I don't even know how to hell say it. Yeah, it is like the name starts with C Z O. I'm like right there. I checked out. Zagols, I don't know. Shot him twice in the abdomen. McKinley died on September 14th, uh, so he survived a week. But mm-hmm. he died. Uh, Cholgosh. Cholgosh. He's Polak. Okay. No shit. <laughs> he died on September 14th of gangrene caused by the wounds. And Zolgosh said that he declared himself an anarchist and he wanted to kill McKinley because he was the enemy of the people. So we've established our first radical citizens. Yes. And Zolgosh was sent to death in the electric chair and Congress passed legislation to officially charge the Secret Service with the responsibility for protecting the president. Yes. I mean, the Secret Service was already established under um, Ulysses S. Grant. Hug. That's the that's who started the Secret Service. I guess I, when, when you're done with this, I got I got a, something. I want but then, to like in 1901, they're like, "Yeah, your job is to protect the president." So yeah. the reason why uh, Zolgosh did what he did because he just lost his job during the epi, uh, uh, ah English economic panic of 1893. Ew, and turned to <laughs> anarchism. Uh, political philosophy uh, adhered to a recent by recent assassinations of foreign leaders. He was he he was wearing sandals in public. He was telling women to go to the beach and take off their shirts. It was all crazy. Back he then. regarded McKinley as a symbol of oppression and was convinced that it was do it was his duty as an anarchist to kill him. Yeah, he would drunk drive on a horse. It was just terrible. So. <laughs> It was another one of these, uh, another one of these people due to what was happening in politics, at, uh, in and, politics like, and the time at that isn't time. Isn't any uh, an- anarchy like the belief of no government or like no rules and just absolute madness and chaos? Pretty much, you're anti-establishment. Yep. And you, you're so going to yes. do everything you can. So, your power. so yes. yes, yes, yes. To to just go uh, against everything normal. Well, the, what's the perceived normal anyway? Okay. Warren G. Harding died of a heart oh, attack. Wait, wait, Dad, you had something you wanted to say? No, no. When we're done with this whole thing, oh, I wanna, okay. I'm going to tie some of this together. Okay. All right, all right, all right. Warren G. Harding died of a heart attack. A heart attack. There's really nothing you can do for that. No, I mean, no. He was visiting San Francisco. Whoa, 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 whoa. Wait, you got to think about it. What did he eat? Uh, and he know. was also how fucking old was Warren G. Hardy? Warding Warding G. Hardy was another one of those bad presidents, and apparently he had a lot of scandals too. He had the teapot dome and other things that really fucked up his presidency. Yeah. So he was under a lot of stress for being such a dickhead, and uh, he was he was. And he died at fifty seven years old. Yeah, he, he see, suffered a stroke, and that's going to be part of stroke my stroke or heart attack. What I want to bring up later Same is shit, a heart problem. You know, a, a guy like this, when you die of of uh, you know when you die of an infection or you die of of a heart attack, you're talking about eighteen uh, nineteen twenty three when this guy died. Yeah, there's the medicine was really not a, that advanced back then. That's I what mean, I'm trying to say. Right, you know, I mean, it was we, horrible. Right. Well, remember a few weeks ago we were talking about uh, Waverly Hills. Right. Right. Oh, well, that was tuberculosis around the same time as this. Mm-hmm. Like back then, the diagnosis was like eat, rest, sit out in the sun, and pray. Yeah. You know, it's... she's going crazy. Give her an orgasm and some water, and she'll be fine. No cocaine and orgasm, and she'll be okay. <laughs> and if she's still not okay. Put her in a locked room. Put her in a locked room. And if she still, for whatever reason, is suffering from her lunacy, we'll just drill a hole in her fucking head. All right. So the next one after that is Franklin D. Roosevelt, who was all types of fucked up. 
He this was, is really he, interesting too because Franklin Delano Roosevelt died of a cerebral hemorrhage. Now you got to put yourself in his perspective. He's he's now in his fourth third term. Third, third term. Third he was term. Ele- no 1940. He was elected to his third term. Yeah. He died in his fourth term. Yes. Okay. He, again, the medicine back there was not that good, but he had so much on his plate. 1945. Well, you're coming out of World War II. Yeah. Okay. You got the you know again. He you, knew you know what the all fucked about up part, though. I was, was about to say, I'm like, I'm sure the deaths of all those men from Pearl Harbor weighed on him pretty heavy. Exactly, and then don't forget now, he's also got his hand on the nuclear trigger because the the nuclear bu- oh, bombs said, were starting to be built. On they were starting to be Calm built, down. right? Yeah. yeah, I mean, they were already built by. Well, then. he knew. I yeah, mean, it's yeah, not exactly. like he. And let's yeah. put it like yeah. this also. Out. It it in, it happens in even in today's presidency. We look at the, the how the president looks at the beginning of the term compared to the end of their their oh, final it's term. Totally different. Yeah. Oh, he absolutely. aged like forty the, years. The amount of stress that those men take is ridiculous. Yeah, yeah if yeah. you the Franklin D. Roosevelt aged like forty years in like a ten year time span. Yeah, you look at sad. I mean look at just Obama from his eight years from when he was on stage yeah. when he took presidency to when he handed it over to Donald Trump. It's he was gray, he was weathered. It's like Jesus Christ, yeah, dude. It's, it's, it's like, a big job, you know. It's not, job. you know, this isn't working at seven. And they always look folks. happy at the end. They're like, it's your fucking problem now. Obama was like, enjoy Blink One Eighty Two, and he stepped off the stage. <laughs> <laughs> and then uh, John F. Kennedy, who again was shot because of, again, there's a conspiracy theory of the John F. Kennedy thing, but if you go by what terms is he was shot because of political reasons. And I'm going to tell you why this his death stopped the curse cold. Okay, let's I don't it. I don't I don't th- I don't see it as a curse. I'm sorry. Well, okay, well, hold on. I'll say that again, for the ending. Again, again, for the you're ending. right. I'm going to say why um no more presidents died in the year uh when the ending in zero. zero. Yeah. Okay. John F. Kennedy, when John F. Kennedy was assassinated. He took the bullet for the team. Okay. His <laughs> there were no rules in this country, he's an asshole. Anyway. <laughs> oh, no! That is such a dick thing to say. I, it really is, but anyway. <laughs> Go on, Dad. Anyway, when John Kennedy was uh, our president, okay, he I had... I wasn't drinking. There, there were no laws in the United States. When you shot a president, it was a local crime. It wasn't a federal crime. Okay, that was changed under John Kennedy. Okay. It then became a federal crime. His Secret Service, there was no nobody to answer to. It was a loose form of protection. Well, Kennedy was set up anyways. We all know well, that. Well, be that as it may, the point is, after he died, the Secret Service got their shit together. That's why you don't see any more... Uh, Deaths now. Reagan is different. Reagan, they they got Reagan because you know, again, the president. If you want to get him, is the easiest target in the world. You just got you got to be willing to die. This is not an advocation <laughs> for anything. No, but this, it's just a fact. It's just a fact. If you want, if you Whoa. anything, I, I, and I don't mean I do just not. the president. If you want to kill somebody, as long as you're willing to die to do it, you can do it. It's very simple. I get what you're saying. Okay. I get what you're saying. Now Reagan was surrounded. He had to, you know. It was just unfortunate that this guy was allowed there. There was a lapse. They shouldn't let the, they shouldn't let Hinckley anywhere near the building. And quite frankly, if this People was been done now, out, if this would have been done now, yeah, they would have known I, I, about Hinckley months well, before. Yeah. Now your canvas, the the, the 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 Secret Service canvases. If there's a, uh, um, and I'll give you an example. 1976, Gerald Ford came to town. Okay, not a very popular president, but he had a, he was in a parade. Down um, Union Boulevard, uh, standing. We're right talking in, about in Patterson. In Patterson, yeah, yeah. I've standing, uh, we were standing right in front of Don Bosco Tech at the time, and the parade had suddenly stopped, and no one could understand why. Secret Service came over, they shut the parade down, they shut us down, they grabbed my mother, grabbed her pocketbook, and was going through her pocketbook because she had a pocketbook at the time. You know? So they searched that, they searched other women at the time, because across the street on the corner, it's now a real estate agency, I think it is, whatever, on the, on the very top floor, a light went on. So they stopped it. That wasn't the case for Kennedy. Kennedy, if you well, look they had at windows the, open left and right. right. So you, you had Secret Service that were, were No partying. illegal search and seizure then. Right. You had people that were partying the night before. So after Kennedy was killed, there was no more fucking around. The Secret Service got their shit together. It was a federal crime now to kill a president or a shoot a president president. And that's why you know you really didn't see any more well, attempts 
And, you know, I kid around with Biden. I don't want anybody to shoot the guy. I mean, he's the president. You got to respect that. As much as I hate the motherfucking cocksucker. Anyway. My you have God. to respect that cocksucking son of a bitch. Well, the, the, the point is, you don't want to see, a, you know, a he's got a family. You don't, want, you, know, you, you don't want anybody shot. That's bullshit. You, you shake his hand as you tell him to go fuck himself. I would. But that's neither here nor there. Okay? The thing is, here's, here's that. And that's why I say to you, if you look at the chart, John F. Kennedy was the last one to die with this supposed curse. So, the betterment of protection, the betterment of medicine, stop the curse or supposed curse. I, cold. We're gonna take a break. My comment still stands. Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna take a break and we'll come back with how we how we're finishing usually these episodes. So we'll be right back. I made sense. Hello, this is JC Three speaking. If you want to know more about Is This Real Podcast and our parent company, Green Hour Media, then visit greenhourmedia.org. You can find and follow all of our social media pages through our website. If you love our content, then you can support us by subscribing to our YouTube channel and our Patreon page. Remember, that is greenhourmedia.org. And we are back. Uh, to give our final thoughts on the curse of the curse of Tippecanoe, because we've gotten so past the Native Americans at this point. Um, well, even the Native that's nice that they started, they started it, supposedly. It. But Native American well, not curses they. are fucked up. Like, you hear stories of, like, haunted houses, Indian burial grounds, shit like that. Like, they're I believe fucked that. up. Yeah. We're going to touch more on Indian and well, Native American uh, curses later on in our episode. Uh, about haunted movies when we talk about the movie Poltergeist. Yeah. So we'll definitely touch on uh, the Native Americans there. Uh, as far as, like, as far as this, like, I'll, I'll start going around. I know, Dad, you, you basically went through the whole, you know, Kennedy and him stopping the curse and stuff. Like, so so what I'm, what I'm hearing then is you think it is a curse then? No, I don't think it's a curse at all. I just think it's a combination of Bad, bad medicine, not bad medicine. Early medicine bad and medicine. lack there of protection. Because think about it: when jo- when when uh, when uh, Lincoln was killed, John Wilkes Booth walked right into the booth. There was no protection. There was no secret well, yeah, they, service. They said that. And they said that, that they started that with uh, heavy so, ash, champagne. Who was it? Uh, James yeah, uh, James mean, A. Har- uh, Garfield. Right. When there he was, was no protection back then. There was no federal crime for it. So you know what? You got pissed off the president. You popped two in his head, and you moved on. There is some okay. anarchist somewhere in a bunker listening to us with notes. Like that would hold on. Go back. What did Big Joe just say? You can take him out from anywhere. And yes. in no way. He's just like the reptilian. Yeah. Hey, you, know hey, you know what? You know what? Here's what I got to say. We are not condoning any of this. Here's no I violence. Got, I don't no approve violence. of any of this. Here's what I got to say. Don't no violence, but you're going to get your ass kicked by Muay Thai. If you're, if you're you know, dead set on doing something stupid, <laughs> be prepared to die. That's all I'm going to say. <laughs> it's You're kind of like washing your hands of it, but not really. It's like, listen, I'm not telling you to do this. No. But if you do it. No, if you're stupid enough no to fucking off do my something that stupid, well, then you know what? You're going to die. So if you're going to death wish, me. Not hey. <laughs> don't whoa, whoa. we do not condone any of this. No, of course not. But the don't do the violence. No violence whatsoever. For the now, love of Christ, Mr. Muay Thai himself. What what do you what do you think? Do you hey, think listen, this is a man, curse? I'm just starting out with this shit. I'm not even like good at all. I John still Mick need Jr., to get my, what's your I still, opinion? I still need to get my <laughs> stance right. <laughs> Yo, he just called you John Wick Jr. What is your opinion? Um, I don't believe in it because. It, I'm going to get more out of you this season, by the way. Well, I'm going to squeeze some juices out of you, all right? Whoa. Phrasing? Oh, dear <laughs> God. Man. Whoa, whoa, That's whoa. available on our Patreon. <laughs> <laughs> uh, why don't, don't you why, believe in it? Why don't I believe in it? Um, I'm not going to lie to you. It just sounds kind of stupid. It sounds kind of stupid. Yeah, I agree with you. Okay. The Pope. I, I, I don't think it's a curse. I really don't. I think... I, I don't because I think uh, uh, Tecumseh's brother got really pissed. He's never gonna believe a curse. Come on. No, not even that. I think this might be the first time where all four of us are like, no. Tecumseh's brother just saw his entire village get slaughtered and burned to the fucking ground. And as he's walking away, who went, I'm gonna get you, motherfuckers. A curse on you. A curse on your dog. A curse on your house. <laughs> Fuck you. Uh, Tecumseh died, like his, the, the you know Tecumseh was trying to unite everyone. He died in the War of eighteen twelve, 
which was the very next year. So that just ended the Native American Confederacy. So it wasn't to be. So I think it was just it more. Sh- it also proved that the Federal Bank won and now established everything. The Illuminati won after uh, okay. that war. Okay. What the fuck, man? I just think it's like. You got your ass handed to you in the worst way possible, and you said a curse upon your entire family. And as like that, like you said, Dad, as time progressed, you have uh, early medicine, and you have lack of protection, and people were killed and died. Yeah, I totally and then everyone stepped back and went, "There's a curse." Like, no, you wanted a curse. I could believe the curse if, if, if a couple more presidents, you know, unfortunately meant their demise, like you know Reagan did or whatever. I could say, well, right. I would, I would even go no. for, like even if Reagan and Bush were killed, mm-hmm. and I would still be like, no, like unless it was really weird circumstances, like if Warren G. Yeah. Hardy felt like a piano fell on him, and then like, yeah, that's what I'm saying. <laughs> while he was in the shower, it exactly. would have to be like extremely. Extremely weird circumstances of how these people died. You right. know what I mean? Right. Like for stuff like what we, we talked about and how they died, assassinations which were common in. T- there were not, like, none not of these common. were accidents. Yeah, right. like they're, they're not sitting here, like like he said, like, no one was hit by a car. Warren G. Uh, Harding was the first president ever to die. Like, he was plugging in the toaster and got electrocuted. Like, yeah, like, they're you know about, what okay, I mean? like, something's a foul in the fuselage, Frederick. You know, this the, doesn't happen normally. The, the Lincoln picture fell and killed somebody. Some sh- shit like that. Like, it's not. Weird. It's it's not stuff. These are things that happen in real life, and at the time, uh, assassinations and dying of pneumonia and shit like that was prevalent in the country at the time right. because of the times. Yeah, I think if you run for like president, they sit you down and be like, listen, they put a little v- they put a tape. They don't even have it on DVD. It's still on VHS. There was no VHS then. Let me finish. Okay. They put in the tape. They put there the is VC- no book of secrets. They put in the VC on the hip play, and the thing comes up and says, "So you heard you were about to be assassinated." <laughs> like they prep you now, because it was easy to get to a motherfucker a yeah. hundred and fifty yeah. years yeah, ago. I agree. So I, I'm I'm also in that term. I don't think it's a curse. I don't think there's, there's anything to do with this. I mean, granted, not saying I don't believe in any Native American curses, because again, as we, as we continue the season and talk about more curses or and, and, and get deeper into native stuff. Right. Native curses are prevalent and I believe there there are there are some curses, some some paranormal shit supernatural shit that goes on with yeah. Native American I mean, that's, stuff. That's, a, that's for another But that's day, that's, yeah. that's 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 different than this. I mean you could sit there and say it's weird, but how how many other presidents have died of um, a sickness or, or or something like that. To, like well, yeah. for for it to be so specific of yeah, like not all the not not the next presidents. Like I'm, I want every one of them, just the ones that end in the year of zero. Right. Like to me, that's just too specific for it to be. Yep, I agree with you. I gotta real. look that up. I'm you know not sure. I mean? Let me hold on. So let me see. A little. So Zachary Taylor also died in office, but he was elected. Uh, he died in 1850. Um, actually, he's the only one. He's the only president to have died in office who's not on the Tecumseh curse. Every other president, there we have had eight of them who've died in office, seven of which are part of the Tecumseh curse. Because everyone was 20 years later. Well, I mean, I don't think it was 20 years later. I just think, like, it, it, you see a pattern. You look at all the presidents who died in office, and you went, oh, they were all elected in the year that ends in a zero. I wonder why. Right. And then it goes back to... Here's, here's my thing. Har- it, Henry Harrison. The only one who doesn't apply is Zachary Taylor. That That's that's my thing. If you sit there and you have... If if William Henry Harrison doesn't die, and doesn't die in office... Yeah. And the first person to die in office was Lincoln, would you consider that... A curse. No. no. Because it has nothing to do with William Henry Harrison, right. who had who had a direct correlation cur- right. with Tecumseh. Right. I mean, so. uh, Emmanuel, Taylor died in 1850. He took office in 1849. So maybe he was off by a year. And because he's off by a year, he was a, a year late and a dollar short. It doesn't count. Yep. Yeah. So I don't think this is a curse. I just think there was just... Weird, wonderful Again, coincidences. And, I mean, assassinations are an extreme circumstance, but they're not a weird circumstance, you know? Right. So. Yeah, and also looking at the list, it goes pneumonia, and then we go three for three with assassinations. Mm. And then heart attack. Heart attack. Cerebral hemorrhage. Hemorrhage, and then assassination. assassination. So assassination had to get one last one in there. Yeah, before, you know, Ronald Reagan. Before, uh, Reagan said, I dare you to shoot me again. <laughs> yeah, well. 
That motherfucker was a tough motherfucker. Yeah, actually, I do believe that he said that when he was uh, going in for surgery, his first reaction was, I sure hope the doctors are Republicans. Well, he's also the one that said he was on stage and that someone sneezed, I think, and he no, said, balloon, you missed me? Yeah, no, balloon popped. He's like, yeah. you missed. <laughs> I'm his, like... Uh, you think about this. Ronald Reagan, love him or hate him, his humor was the best of any president I remember. I mean, and then George Bush was just dumbass. And but George his, Bush humor was funny too because he was just it was like it was like almost lovable. Oh, look at the stupid bass! He just choked on a pretzel, <laughs> you know, stuff like that. That was oh, fun he, for me. He can't get in the door. But, he can't but, pull open the door. But Reagan was so quick witted. Yeah, and yeah, that's true. funny. I mean, he just had a lot of, a lot of, you know. And all, well, you know, Bush wanted everyone to doctors to practice their love with women, the OBGYNs. <laughs> love you say. Uh, no, Mr. President, I don't think that's the right. You know what? Never mind. He's a fucking idiot. My God. What Rob Williams said at best. I just came back from the Coyote Conference. It's Kyoto. Oh, that's a wonderful car. <laughs> Never mind. Sit down. Well, next week, gentlemen. Next week, we are starting our... Well, not starting. But next week, we have our first sports curse. Ah. We are doing the curse of the Bambino. Mmm. Which, uh, all... The Bambino, uh, Babe Ruth. No? Nothing? Gotcha. Cool. Um... Yes, yeah, so, so ba- he was that Yankee, right? That just yes, he was that Yankee. He was a Red Sox that was traded to the Yankees, and then he just like slammed them out of the stadium and shit, right? He yeah. had that dog in him. Yeah, and they, he they, did have that dog in him. Yankees go on to win twenty-seven World Championships, and not with him, obviously, but a lot with him. Okay. And um, the Red Sox didn't win another championship from nineteen fourteen, I think it was, till nineteen uh, till two thousand four. So almost a hundred years. So we'll talk about that curse next week. Uh, just remember, guys, again, follow us on all of our social media. Um, continue to follow us on our Patreon. Again, it's only a dollar. A dollar to sign up, get the new show, and maybe a couple more shows on, on, on the horizon. We so have the after show that goes up on there, right? Yes, the after show goes up the, on there. Follow our social media on TikTok. You'll see a, a lot of our stuff goes up on TikTok now, uh, which is, uh, is this real PC? Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, just continue. You know, the cooking show is up there, and the one that yeah. dropped, the one that uh, just hit today it and was the Saint Augustine. Uh, Saint Augustine. Yeah, go to our YouTube. We have a lot more shows coming up on YouTube, also. So just and continue. To follow. We have a lot of content month, coming so. out. Yeah, we're trying to hit 200 followers on YouTube. 200 followers on YouTube. Let's. That's go. the new goal. 50,000 on TikTok. 200 on YouTube. And we only baby, have baby steps, man. Yeah, yeah we only have 75 followers on Instagram. Oh my! So. We're trying, getting there, to, folks. We're getting, we're, there. we're getting there. We're getting there. So everyone, say good night. Adios, night motherfuckers. Peace. Adios. Konnichiwa. And we'll see everybody. No, yatsumi. Oh, yatsumi. We'll see everybody next week. Good night, everybody. Good night. Konnichiwa, bitches. It's Ryu West speaking. If you want to find out more about the Is This Real podcast, follow us on Facebook at facebook.com slash is this real PC or on Twitter at is this real PC or on Instagram at is this real podcast all one word <laughs>